Hello everyone, so welcome to my second speed comparison video. This one will be a little easier than yesterday. Um, it's going to be two iPod Touch 6 generation, one on iOS 8.4, and one on the latest, iOS 10.3. So I'm just going to close these two applications at the same time, and we're going to see which one is smoother. So it looks like iOS 10.3 closed out a little bit faster. So let's get started. But we're just going to do some loading times here. So let's load, oops, let's load mail. Okay, both at pretty about the same time. The app store, something web-based. So I with eight did that, did load that one a little bit quicker. Now with HTML5 preloaded in Safari, we're gonna load that. So it looked like iOS 10 was a little bit faster and also the browser um, score is a little bit higher too. Um, let's slow to apple.com. Okay, about the same time. Alright, let's do a Geekbench score. Okay, so there are the Geekbench scores. Looks like iOS 10 is a little bit lower on both areas, but nothing, nothing significant. Okay, so I'm now I'm going to do a launching of the Angry Birds application just to see how the animations are. So three, two, one. iOS 10 seemed to pop up a little bit faster. Alright, so without Game Center being loaded, they loaded up at about the same time. Okay, now I'll do a Wi-Fi speed test. Very interesting, the download speed is a little bit lower on iOS 8. Wow! And the upload speed is a lot higher on iOS Hmm. Okay, now we're going to do an Intuitive Benchmark. Okay, so there are the results. I was eight. It's a little bit lower. Interesting. On to the last test of the day, which is a startup test. Normally that would I would do that first, but they're going to start up in three, two, one. And they're off. Alright guys, so that is it for me today. Thank you so much for watching, and see you in the next one. Goodbye.